I literally just finished filming a summer haul and then went, Jess, get real. You're not leaving the house in a summer dress. It's freezing. And so then I'm going to put this sweater on. It's really warm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jess. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below if you enjoy this video. I literally just filmed a summer haul and now I'm in a sweater. Today's video, as the title suggests, is my July favourites. So, I always say every month I don't have a lot of favourites, and to me it doesn't look like a lot of favourites, but to be honest, I probably have a lot of favourites. So let's try and get through this as quick as possible, because I'm supposed to leave in 20 minutes, make that 15 minutes, and need to get this video done. Okie dokies. My first favourite that is not a makeup favourite and it is my only favourite that is not a makeup favourite is my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water All in One. I'm obsessed with this for removing my eye makeup. I have been using it every day that I wear my eye makeup. It removes your eye makeup so gently. It doesn't have a scent, which I love because it's good for really sensitive skin such as mine. And I've been enjoying it a lot. It's probably a great dupe for Bioderma. I haven't tried Bioderma, but this works amazingly. So why spend four times the price on a bottle that is much smaller when this does the job for like $9. So I hope you guys, if you guys haven't checked this out, I do recommend it. It is available in Priceline, Target, Kmart, wherever. It's amazing. Moving on to beauty favourites, makeup favourites. I've got a little basket full of them, so we're going to try and... Power through this because we could be here a while. Let's start with base products. I have been loving my MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. You get 50 mils of this. I have it in N1. I bought this in duty free on the way to my honeymoon and I'm obsessed with it. It gives you a very light, dewy coverage. Um, I can put on two layers and get a sort of medium coverage, but it's amazing. But I do recommend if you have any spots or anything, wear a concealer with it, which I will talk about my favorite concealer. In a moment um, but I've really enjoyed this it you get 50 mils with it you don't really need a huge amount of product and it's kind of like it's it's thicker than I thought it would be but it's definitely watery foundation um, it's pretty affordable sort of it was pretty cheap in duty-free it was like 30 something dollars um, in Australia I think it's about 45 or so which is not too bad for a good foundation so this is definitely for you who like your light coverage your glowy coverage it'll be amazing in summer I wish it was summer. It's so bad. Um, hence why I'm featuring basically summery only products. Really love it. Check it out if you guys see it. Uh, my next product is a product that I featured in a haul. I will leave the haul linked on the screen right now. And it is my Inglot Freedom Palette that I made myself. And it's specifically this color here. This color is 09. I have been absolutely loving this colour with my next product, which I'll speak about in just a second. Um, I've been absolutely loving pairing this. I've been absolutely loving pairing this colour with Max Rubenesque. So Rubenesque is this beautiful peachy orange tone. Show you guys. It's this beautiful sort of peachy orange tone, and together they make the perfect colour because this colour is sort of the almost the exact same colour. Um, and I just love pairing those together with a little bit of brown in the crease and it just gives you the most beautiful, bright, everyday eye makeup and I've really been loving it. It's, they're $10 for these and they're great quality. Like, just look at that pigmentation. Like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And now I'm stuck with it. As you guys can see, super sheeny and pretty and gorgeous and was a really good purchase and I actually really love these. The other MAC paint pot I've been loving with for every day is Groundwork, which is this sort of warm toned medium brown. Uh, this is really nice for everyday wear. I've been really enjoying it, just putting it on my eyes with a bit of mascara and running out the door. It gives you dimension without being too dark and it's really nice. It wears really well and doesn't crease on me, which is a pretty big deal because I have very oily eyelids. Since we're doing eye favourites, we'll continue on with eye favourites. The Colourpop shadow I have been loving wearing with that Rubenesque and Peach combo is the Colourpop eyeshadow in Lectra, which is this gorgeous burgundy colour. I like to put this on the outer corner if I'm going out for a sort of out, like a nicer look, or if I'm going out for the night just to deepen or darken it up. It is this absolutely stunning burgundy red brown colour. It is very pigmented and lovely, and to be honest, I am so happy, like, 
I'm really happy with uh, how it looks with those two colours. It's just a really nice colour. Um, and these are $5 from Colourpop.com. I will leave the link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing them. Two more eye favourites. I have been loving my CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Waterproof Mascara. I purchased this uh, when, when Price Line was having a sale. It was about $10 and I'm actually really enjoying it. It does have a plastic wand, so if you guys do not like plasticky sort of wands, you will not like this. But I really do. It's very similar to the, the Lash Blast, the original one in the orange tube. If you guys like that mascara, you'll probably like this one. It really lengthens my lashes. This will not give you volume, but it does give you length. And I really do enjoy that because I don't really feel like I need too much volume. I prefer length. So... This is lovely and I recommend you guys try it if you see it in your local store. For my last eye favourite, I have been loving the Maybelline Definer Brow Brow Pencil. I have this in dark brown. This is said to be a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, is that what it's called? Um, it does not have a very good spoolie on the end, I will give it that, but I just use my own little spoolie brush. It has this incredibly fine tip, like incredibly fine nib. Um, so it's really good for getting that sort of natural brow look, filling them in, filling in sparse areas, and then just brushing them out. And it gives a really good look. Uh, it comes in a couple colours. I don't know if they still sell this. I hope they do. Mine's a little bit older, but I really do like it. And if you guys can get your hands on it, it's a lot cheaper than the Anastasia one. Moving on to concealer favourites that I was speaking about before. My concealer of the moment is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I am obsessed with this concealer. I have it in two colours, light and fair. Light is 10 and fair is 15. 15 is the one that I use under my eyes for brightening and light is the one I use around my face on blemishes or anything else that I need to cover. These are amazing quality. They're very, very creamy. I reckon they're a fantastic dupe for the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I actually almost like this a little bit better, partially because the colour tone suits me a bit better because I'm a bit too pale for the other one, but also because it's so affordable and they're really, really good quality for how much they actually cost. So if you guys see this in your local sort of Target or CVS or Priceline, I recommend picking them up and giving them a go because they're really, really good. The only downside is there's only about four or five shades, so it's a bit hard to find your shade. But they're so affordable, you can probably buy two and mix them. I have a couple more face products and then a few lip products as well. So I have been loving my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. This is just a tiny little sample size that I got from my friend Maddie. She had a little three pack and she said that I could try Opal because I really wanted to. Opal is definitely a champagne sort of colour. It is the colour that it is in the package. But this just gives you the most beautiful glow from within. Like it's just... Vavum Glow. It's beautiful. Like I said, I have the shade Opal, which is the sort of champagne colored one. I'd really like to see Moonstone, which is very cool toned, but I think Opal actually really suits my skin tone because I have a very pink toned base. Um, I know that they sell massive big ones of these and I really do think I will repurchase when I run out because I've really been enjoying it and it's really nice. Um, I totally want to get my hands on the Jaclyn Hill Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector like powder. Oh my god. But if you guys can get that in your local store or Sephora or whatever, please do pick it up. I really recommend it. My last two favourites are lip favourites. One I am wearing now and one I wore in one of my previous videos, which I will leave linked up here for you guys to check it out. Um, so this is the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Rose. I think it's a lip gloss, liquid lipstick in Rose Hill. This is the one that Jaclyn Hill made with the Gerard Cosmetics. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It is the most beautiful pink rose colour. It is gorgeous for everyday wear. It's not too bright. It's not too in your face, over the top. It's just a really nice sort of my everyday sort of colour. It's really nice. They're not overly sticky and they, you know, don't have a particularly bad smell. Kind of smell like plastic vanilla, I guess. Um, and they have a little light and mirror on the packaging, which is just adorable and really helpful if you guys want to apply lip gloss on the go. So, I've been really enjoying that. Last but not least, uh, I have another ColourPop favourite. No, I'm not sponsored by ColourPop. I would love to be, but I'm not. Um, and that is the Lip Colour in Click. So I have the Lippy Stick and the Lippy Pencil here in Click. It is this beautiful orange red. Like I said, I'll leave it linked up in the corner for you guys to go check out what it looks like on the lips because doing a swatch doesn't do it justice. It is the most beautiful orange red colour. Um, I do line my lips with the lippy stick, with the lippy pencil and then use the lippy stick over the top and it just gives you the most beautiful long wearing orange red. I'm obsessed with orange lips recently 
forever and I just think this is the most beautiful color it's, it's long wearing it lasts for food and drink it looks really well and it fades really well as well um, I do have the matte it is matte so if you guys don't like matte you may have to wear a lip gloss or something over the top but I find that it's not too drying so that's pretty good like I said I will leave it linked down below if you guys want to check out any of the ColourPop products or anything else I can probably find I will leave a link down below as well so that is the end of my favorites video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you guys are new to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button. And welcome to all of you guys that have clicked subscribe and are part of my YouTube family. That's just amazing. Stay tuned for some more back to school videos and some healthy eating videos. And also please leave what your favorites were this month down below in the comments and any video requests you guys have. I had someone request some more healthy videos, which is amazing because I love doing them and I've got a whole bunch of healthy recipes for you guys to try. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Bye!